Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory Update number 6. We are still drinking our Barrel Nut Tea Latte. It's Earl Grey Tea, Frangelico, a little bit of vanilla syrup, and a foamed milk topping. So, cheers. That is a much better temperature. So, we are getting ready to uh, basically double our iron smelting operation here. And that starts with upgrading these miners. We're going to work through this from front to back. Front being the miners. So, let's start by this and this. We're going to be dumping a bunch of boxes of iron ore because <laughs> my inventory is completely full. Now, I don't really care about the iron ore, so you can go there. Now, I do care about that, though. Truck, I need you for a second. I forgot I needed space for that extra. Um. Whoops. For the extra miner. Okay. So give me the miner. Thank you. Let's build a level two miner here. Very good. Give me that. You can go in here for literally no reason at all. Just, you're going to be full like instantly. Cool. And level five belt to there. Okay. Now I'll repeat that same process over here. Give me all of that. You can go in the trash. Where did my... I know exactly where they went. My encased steel beams. I got distracted and built another uh, transport tube in the last episode and I lost my 10 beams. But we can get them back right now. 10 beams, all right. This miner. You are going to face this away. Because that's where your thing is. Alright, cool. You go in there. And then get some power. Alright, sweet. Oh, this is probably not going to work. Oh, no, that works good enough. And you're going to be at Mark 3 lift. Now, we need to actually look in this tower here. Oh, this is going to be a pain. All these towers. Oops. Because, well, let's just do this. <laughs> and you know what? Let's just do these ones over here. So they're going to be done eventually. Okay. Um, I would like to replace all these stupid foundations with the steel. But I need to unlock it, and I need 10 tickets. Just one is fine. Okay. So this will be five. We'll come back for those. You'll be five. You'll be five. And you'll be five. Okay. So these are my iron inputs. So I should be able to have four more of these hooked up, and I've already built them, which is awesome. So let's just make sure these are all five belts here to keep up. Sorry, Mark three belts, sorry. I'm going to continually call them five because they're on five of my hotbar. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, that is what I'm talking about. I set you up for iron production. I have. I have. Cool. Good job, past Rob. 
You did it. Okay. Splitters? I wonder if I can do both sides at the same time. Nope, I want mergers. <laughs> you know what? Let's not do that. That sounds like a bad idea. That is how confusion happens. And I've got enough of that. As it is. He's going. So, I think once we get this figured out, I mean, we're doing this because what we want to do is get our uh, steel plates and our rotors going. So, I think that's what we'll be doing next. That's on the right spot. So, we'll bring these lines over. Get belt and rotor production up. And then, I think we're going to want to start working on these objective phase two for the space elevator. Because we have run out of tiers in our hub, and that is the next spot we want to go. Which will open up a whole bunch of new opportunities for us. But, these uh, tier 2 objectives require things like rotors and plates and frames and all that good stuff. So we got to really get this iron going first. Um, I also, actually, once I run this over, I will probably set up a really quick and dirty encased... Uh, frame production downstairs, or in case, in case steel beam production on floor four, I think it is. Just to get that going, and then we will really start getting going on the uh, plates and rotors and all that jazz. Oh no, what happened? Oh, you. I swear, like, whenever I do this, I always, I'm always so sure. Like, I am checking to make sure these arrows are on the right direction, and they always look like they're the right direction, and they're never the right direction. Why? Why are they never the right direction? Merger. See, it's the right direction! I don't understand! Oh, it's not the right direction at all. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Oh, man. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, those are set up and good. Let's see if we can put these splitters in the right direction. That looks like this. That one's definitely the right direction. That one's definitely the right direction. Okay. Sweet. Okay. And just like that, we have doubled up our iron production. All we gotta do is haul this back to the base by upgrading all those belts. Which sounds like a pain in the butt, and it is absolutely going to be a pain in the butt. But it's got to be done. Now I should go relatively quick. 
But I do have to move my truck here. That scared me. Okay, I've upgraded those. Yeah, fortunately with our um, our Blade Runners, getting around is a lot quicker. So let's go. You know what? I'm leaving those deleted. Because I'm pretty sure we have enough tickets in here to get the steel frames. And probably when we come back this way, I'm going to just replace all these with steel frames. They're going to look a lot nicer than these stupid solid whatever frames. And it's a lot easier to access the belts inside to do stuff like upgrade them. Which is why I have to delete these right now. So steel frames will be a huge improvement. Ooh, don't erase that. How are you guys doing? Still a bajillion plates and a bajillion rods. That's great news. Okay. <laughs> this bell's not even moving right now. Okay, so this is where it splits, so these can be level two. Cool. And we'll jump back over here. And I think you split right here, right? Oh. Yeah. This is all level two. Level two, sweet. We'll go inside and see what's going on in there. How are you doing? Oh, I need one more coupon. You know what? Got a whole whack of these. Give me my coupons. Okay, you're gonna be a little bit still. I'll come back. I want to get this stuff all worked out here. Oh, I've already upgraded you, that's why. Okay, mark two. Yep. So I'm going to be able to double these up, and we're going to be able... Well, we've already started doubling these up. But, excuse me. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. I'm going to build the actual production facility first. Oh, right. It's like, what the hell's going on here? This is what's going on here. Disaster. Oh, I never even connected these. Perfect. Sweet. I believe you guys are also making rods? Yeah. Yeah. These are here, I might as well hook them up. But I will wait. Yeah. What's going on in here? Look at all the rotors. Oh, baby. Okay, cool. How are we doing? Well, why don't we think about moving this operation downstairs? I think it's time. And why don't we start with the steel plate operation? So, let's do that. We are currently making... No, oh, you know what? I didn't do. I gotta upgrade this section too.
three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, bro, you are already. I've already got enough here for 240 per second, which is great news. Um, but I haven't upgraded these. Right? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, 24. Perfect. So I got both of these batteries ready to go. We're just absolutely full of everything right now. So that's why this is like this. But this is going to change very, very soon. And actually, do I have space in my inventory? I don't, don't have that much space. Hmm. This belt doesn't need to be here anymore. How am I going to do this? I have a lot of crap that I got to demolish. And I think... I think we're going to start like this. Uh, let's put a... <laughs> Our favorite, this guy right here. What am I overlapping? All oh, the wire? That's fine. Mr. Loud Boy. And let's stick one of these here. And as we disassemble stuff, we can put things like excess screws, some of the extra plates and stuff into here. Okay, so we'll keep this storage bin here. Yeah, but like there's 500 screws in here that I do not want. Uh, before I disassemble you, 90 plates and 250 screws. So we could handle we can make two downstairs. Just move these two downstairs, and that will be as many as we can handle with our current production, because I think we're only making... Oh, God, i got to get rid of all these screw assemblers. We're only making 240 per minute, yeah. We're only making 240 plates per minute. And that'll leave us 60 to leave as plates. So I'm fine with that. Let's assemble all these screws. How my inventory doing? Oh, I'm full. Did I leave a package? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. You know what? Some of you are going to go in here too. And you. It's because these screw assemblers are full of screws. It's going to take me all day to do this if I don't do it like this. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm already leaving a crate. Okay. Rods. Oh yeah, a bunch of rods I'm going to have too. Okay, I'll throw the rods in here as well. Cool. You come here. Have some more screws and some plates. So this floor is getting close to being strictly plates. Normal plates. Downstairs will be the reinforced plate production. Okay. Uh, 
you can have that and that and that. Already, eh? Wow. Are these rods I'm leaving behind? Probably. Rods and screws. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what I could use? More inventory space. Now the other side won't be so bad for disassembling because I have no screw production over there. And the screws are really what takes up a lot of space. So let's go see. Oh, you're actually still making stuff. All right, sweet. Well, you can stop. If you don't mind. I'm actually just going to let you stop. Okay. That, and that, and that is for you. Now screws, or screws, sorry, the rods, I think we're going to want the rods to come out at the end. So we no longer need that. So let's throw a wall, and let's put another wall here. And we're going to have, so this will be where the plates come out. Uh, I'm probably going to do two, two. And I think we'll do this. Making them down at an angle, that's fine. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. There we go. And you can be normal walls. Cool stuff. So let's have... How fast are these plates going to come out of here? When I say we're making 240. Are we going to need five? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, it's a 240, right? Because we're making 20. We're making 160. And I need 100? What? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what, am, what am I talking about here? 90, 180. How did I screw that calculation up? We're only making 160 per minute. Right? Yeah.
I don't know how I screwed that calculation up. We're going to build two downstairs regardless. But the point of that was we are only going to need our... Um, is we're only making 160? Really? That seems so little. Yeah, two twenty per minute. Okay, two hundred sixty. Yeah, we only need um conveyor belt mark two is a hundred and twenty. So we're gonna need, we are gonna need the big belts. Do I wanna do it like this right now? Yeah. We'll keep that thing there for now. There's a buffer. There we go. I guess that was okay, but I'd rather connect than turn. Yes. And you are definitely, we're gonna need like this. Win. We do not need this anymore. How many of you are we making? 15. So we're making 120. But I also haven't doubled up my producers yet, so. What's up? You just keep on rotoring for now. That's fine. Let's stick a merger in here. Again, temporarily. Surprise, surprise. Where's my green arrow, man? There we go. And you're going to look like this. And all of this is going to come out. Because we're only making 120 for the time being. But we will go well, like so. Oh. So, when we get down here, we will have to split this build. Oops. <laughs> These rooms are way too big. Actually, this one would be okay for the rotors, but I'm only putting two. Uh... Two bolted plate assemblers in the other room, so. I don't think we're going to need such big rooms. Give me some of these. Mark three lift. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's not going to want to go the way I want it to. No. Why? Okay. Wait, I did that again. Okay. We have to do something here. And what we have to do is this. Let me up. We have to slam a splitter in here. Right there.
Okay, so there we go. This is going to be our rotor production. Now, rotor production is going to be interesting. And the reason it's going to be interesting is because I'm going to fall off this edge if I'm not paying attention. Rotors, steel rotors. Oh. Interesting. So we can do copper wire and steel instead. Let's do that. That sounds like a way better idea. So we don't even need this crap in here. But we do need it on the other side. So all is not lost. We're just going to do it like this. And our plates will be coming down here. Okay. So this is going to be this. We are going to need... Ugh. gate holes and we're going to need regular walls and we're going to need to put a cut in very soon let me get these sorted and then we will put a cut in this conveyor down did we bring conveyor 3 out to it I can't recall yeah we did okay well, let's just continue with the conveyor 3 theme conveyor 3 I think that lined up <laughs> okay. And there we go. Alright. That's all connected. And we're going to put a cut in there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we will see you next time.